We live right now? You got that timer, man? I got the timer. Okay. Yeah. What's up, D? What up? We going live now? We're live. Oh, shit. You hear that beat, D? You hear that bass line? You hear that bass line, D? Yes. All right. I'm going to bring you in like I always do, like the hype man that I am. Like the hype man that I am. Yeah, yeah. Y'all ready for that beat? For D in the streets. D. Please don't hype me up. I'm gonna hype you up, man, cause you the man, D. D yeah, in the streets, bright fame. He ain't never lame. D, drop that beat for these people. See, come on now. S W C, East B T, I'm D C. We ready? Yeah, let's get it one time. Let's get it two times. I don't hear the music. So I don't think this shit rhymes, but I don't really care. Nope, I don't really care. Nope, I don't really care. Why? Cause I'm not really there. Oh, I'm not in the studio. I don't know how this shit gonna go. Pass it off to BT and let that nigga roll. That was horrible. That was terrible. Sound like he was on that scissor, but it's all right, folks. You know me. I'm always on that dessert. I'm always <laughs> sweet like that. I'm sweet like that. I'm for the streets. Yeah, I'm Greek like that. Yeah. You know what I do. You know what I do. When I get on the microphone, you know what I do. I hype it up. Sipe it up. Sipe it up. Chop it up for the people. What I do? Yeah. I hype it up. Yeah. I'm not a rapper, never claim to be. I'm a rock and roll man, that's who I be. But that's alright, I like that music, and I like that beat. That's what Y does to me, yeah. He hypes me up, that's what I do. Bad boy beat, yeah, that's who I do. Yeah, that's who I do. That's who I do. That's who I do, yeah. Jesus. That's it, baby, yeah. How you doing, D? I'm great. How are you guys? Man, I'm great. Another hot summer. But before we get started, you know how we do it now. You know how we do it now. Even John said he likes this. We started off with the would you rather. So you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Wyatt, you going to bring us in with that would you rather. <laughs> yeah, give me a sec. I'm pulling it up. Oh, man, I thought you was ready, Wyatt. <laughs> I got it right here. All right. Man, I love how our fans who love the show, no one even asks <laughs> what happened to Malik. They just assume he's <laughs> dead or something. No one even asks, like, hey, where's Malik? They just go, hey, you like the show, blah, blah, blah. But no one's even asked, like, hey, is Malik sick? <laughs> no one, no one's <laughs> Even John, who listens all the time, and A and, and, and my and J B, my girl J, she even she don't say, hey, what happened to Malik? No one, man. This this world don't give a fuck about anybody. It's That's like, not true. You know, Michelle, Michelle listens to the show every week uh, on her way to work. And she was like, where is Malik? I miss him. She's the one. So, she's the only she's one. The Every, one. Everybody else. No one gives like, we, we could go down to sorry. And it's just you. And they wouldn't even ask, hey, where's BT? <laughs> 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 well, you know, he's old, so he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> I know. Go ahead, Wyatt. Go ahead, Wyatt. All right. Aliens have taken over Earth. Uh oh. So there's multiple planets where humans, aliens are living on, but the aliens are in control. So would you rather on another planet live as an animal attraction at an alien zoo no. or a traveling alien circus? That's the same thing. Uh, only a, a traveling that alien is not circus. not the same thing. Well, would I'm, you rather be in a cage where aliens are walking by looking at him and going, oh, look at that guy right there? Or did you just put you, the white voice and you're already white? Would you? It's not like you put, it's not like you put the white voice or, and you're already white. Didn't or it? would you didn't rather be? <laughs> go, wow, look at that guy. He's already in a cage. You're already white, Wyatt. Why'd you even, you whited it up. I never heard a white dude whited it up. He whitened it. He tried to. <laughs> Wyatt whitened his own voice up. And why is about as white as you get. That's the he first time I heard his it. his ancestors on that one. Wow, you, would you rather be that guy? You went whiter than white, Wyatt. You went, <laughs> Wyatt went white and he's already white. Would you uh would you uh say wow look at that guy in the cage? <laughs> anyway, how about you, African Americans? What do you think of this? <laughs> uh traveling uh, I gotta go travel. I like to travel, so and being in the same place. Nah, who- man, if you don't know anything about circuses, no, they abuse the fuck out of their animals. You do not do dude, dude, but they're aliens, but they're aliens are different, dude. Aliens are different. They probably would zap dude, the poop. A circus is a circus. But man. you're traveling. That means you can make and get away. Like, uh man, you got me. Hey alien, can I go outside and, and you know to the outhouse and, no, and, and, and do what I earthlings do? To, I want an alien to hop the gate into my enclosure so I can slit his throat. Dude, aliens know what you're aliens. doing. They already got they already know what you're doing. That's why you're locked up, dude. I mean aliens are basically oppressors. They're 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 intergalactic oppressors. So what I would do So is, you want to be oppressed in the circus? Can I talk to, can I talk? 
Can, can, can I count it off? Can I count it off? Here's what I would do. What I do, I go, hey, alien, hey, man, can I go take a, a, a space piss? And he goes, yeah, no problem. And man, I would get his keys to his spaceship and I get the fuck. See, I would see, hotwire. You, you misunderstand. It wouldn't be you that said easy. you're an animal. I know, they but, don't, but they're not treating you like a person. But you we don't, don't know, though. Animal. We don't know how we don't know how aliens get down, though. I mean, it's the aliens zoo. So we don't know how aliens get down. That's we're what thinking I said, of, a we're, circus is a circus. We're thinking bro. of American zoo. We're thinking American zoo. Maybe aliens have a different way of zoo. Maybe they the uh, zoo was the like tigers rip the arms off. The animals in a fucking but other that, country, but that's not just America. Th- that's yeah, but we're talking on Earth, Dion. He said aliens, so aliens gonna be maybe they're like maybe they're like like okay, okay, I got you. Okay, I gotta get up at eight. I can work out and be ready by eleven. What is he talking about? <laughs> that's alien talk. I don't that's know. Al- that's alien talk because we don't know how aliens get. We don't know what we don't know what alien circus is. We're assuming because <laughs> so why would why would I believe it me eight o'clock? How does that make any sense? Because I'm gi- I'm giving you an example, Dan. It's called an example, and I'm giving you that an example. doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> well, what you're saying, you're you're basing everything off of American thing. I'm just saying, we're, I mean, no, uh, uh, of Earth. I'm saying if it's an alien, maybe their idea of a zoo is different. Quiet. Read the question again. Please PT, use your best comprehension skills to understand I, you're, what you're, the you're not listening. Just I'm picturing them like interviewing you for like the circus, and you're just talking like this, and they're like, they're like, <laughs> like why would they employ you? They wouldn't even employ you at that circus. I'm probably working uh, like selling popcorn. Probably. Well, well, a space popcorn. I don't even know what space popcorn would be. It'd probably float in the air. Either. I love how he's attributing all these Earth ideas to the, the alien zoo that's yeah. going to be completely different. Why would aliens eat popcorn? What the fuck are you talking about? Exactly, Dion. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's going to be different. That was an example of how stupid it is the way you think. It's stupid. And I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> aliens are going to be different. No, you are. You just got caught not making sense. No, I did that on trip. purpose so you would understand how stupid you are. I'm trying to tell you an alien zoo is going to be different. How? Because they're aliens. Then what planet are they come from? Are they coming from the Milky Way, Wyatt? Or are they coming from a, uh, the Crab Nebulae? Are they coming from a black hole? I mean, seriously. I mean, I mean, a million uh, years are they coming uh, from? If, if they show up in spaceships, they're going to operate the same way we do. That makes no sense. If they op- if, no, if they show up in an airplane that says Delta on it, they operate the same way that we do. But they come up in a spaceship and we go, how does it operate? And they go, we don't have spaceships. The, the, only, in- space the only information we have on them is that they're putting you in a circus or they're putting you in a zoo. That's the only information we have. So they know about oppressing. So they, so they must have watched our civil rights tapes. Right, you would be better off in the zoo than the circus because circus animals are treated worse than animals. In but the zoo. I think aliens are going to be different, though. I mean, we have to go around space. Maybe, maybe go to Dude, a different you, planet. Dude, you think Hitler's hanging out in Argentina? You think a lot of no? He's dead now. He's what dead I'm now. Hitler's is, dead what now. Your thought Hitler's process dead doesn't now. Doesn't make any sense. Well, yours doesn't either because you're 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 thinking that aliens are Amer- uh, of, are are of Earth, and I'm saying aliens are from a different uh, planet, a different uh, 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 galaxy. Is it a space zoo and a space circus? A space zoo is going to be different because way. how they no. how their spaceships are different from our spaceships. Haven't you ever watched aliens? I mean, for uh, oh ancient God. aliens, they operate the same. Do they? No, not? they spaceships don't. Fly. No, they don't. Spaceships don't fly. They fly. Spaceships don't fly. But so if the spaceship flies, why wouldn't the circus be a circus and the zoo be a zoo? That you, makes no sense. No, you, what are you li- talking about because you're not listening, Dion. You're not listening. It flies, but the control. Everybody says when he, when uh, when they look at the the uh, inside a spaceship, they don't even have control panels. Like they they can touch it with the, with their little whatever they have, and they say it, it operates. But there's nothing that there's no lights or nothing. I mean, people who have actually been inside. No it, lights, no beacon. There's no nothing. I mean, it's all yeah. And it's really small. They're really small. <laughs> this, is, you're, this is really man. Awesome. Okay, man. Whatever, man. I mean, whatever. Space dude. circus is going to be different than Earth circus because it's not going to be. It's not going to be like flying. Aliens. It's not going to be any flying bears like going around on like little like. You, you know. would be the flying bear. Oh, whatever. That's what Dion. I'm saying. You, 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 you have no imagination. So which one are you guys taking? I'm, 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 I'm traveling. Zoo. I'm traveling. I'm a traveling. I'm a traveling roadshow. You're going to be an abused American <laughs> Earthling. I'm a circus. I'm a traveling roadshow, bro. That's Elephant. what I'm doing. That's what. No, whatever. I'm going to keep you in a cage whatever. 23 and a half hours a day. Yeah, whatever. Hey, I, like I said, I'm going to steal They're a gonna spaceship. Whip you and I'm going to steal a spaceship and I'm going to another Kobe galaxy with the, and I'm going to be partying with holes in different galaxies going like, oh, where are you from? I'm from motherfucking Earth, baby. Yeah, that's where I'm from. They have some space kids with little, uh, with little uh, what do you call it, with little corn rolls or, or uh, you know, oh, I don't so know. you think space aliens are going to fuck like people, but the circus ain't going to be the Yes, same? they're going to fuck like people, but circus is different. They're going to be different. I love, I love how you picked the circus because you're like, 
You think you could just escape right away? Yeah, he, that's what I do, bro. Escape. I escape from shit. I'll escape. I'll get. You can't a, even escape this stupid ass argument you're having. What are you talking? Yours about? is stupid because you're, you're assuming it's, it's going to be just like here. You're assuming they're going to get off and have t-shirts. You think they have t-shirts, Dion, and wear Oakley sunglasses and be like, "Hey, this is our space circus." Why would the circus be any easier to escape from than the zoo? Uh, I think that because I'm traveling. <laughs> yeah, because I'm traveling. When, Fucking uh, stupid logic. <laughs> no, it's not because when you travel, there's a better chance. I'm gonna get on my there's a better chance of escaping right when you away. travel. <laughs> when you travel, there's a better chance of escaping. Make sure you wear your helmet. Prisoners, <laughs> prisoners always escape when they travel. Prisoners always do. Like they got, like a guy two weeks ago. What are you just watched the fugitive? What are you talking about? You know, remember that guy from in Texas that, that escaped. He was on. They were transporting him, and he uh, he overpowered the uh, the bus driver. He killed him, and then he killed like a family, and then they had a shootout with the cops, and he got killed. You know, remember that story? No, well, what I do. I do because I, I it was it happened last week. It? Yes, it did because I watched the news. That's why. But hey, you know, tomato, tomato. Nobody says tomato. Yes, they do. I've heard people say no, tomato. Because I travel, Dion. Well, I've, been to, I've been to space circuses. I've been to space circuses, Dion. I've been to space circuses. Anyway, anyway, hey, hey, thanks, hey, thanks for the birthday wishes, by the way. I appreciate the birthday wishes, by the way. Thank you so much. What did you do on your birthday? I saw Man, you went out to eat. It was great. My roommate took me out there. I went to a nice place. I'm thinking about going there tonight when we get through here, actually. I'm just going by myself and get a little appetizer. That's how good it was. And uh, it was good. And that was it, man. We walked, you know, around, uh, you know, Mass Ave. What Avenue. was the name of the place? Uh, I got to look it up. I'll look it up right now. Um, it's, it's a new place. It's called Mo- Mo Dick. Hold on, hold on. I'll tell you right now. Um, <laughs> you went to a place on Mass Ave called Mo Dicks? No, my Mo Dicks, dummy. Hold on. <laughs> um, it was called, hold on. Um, hold on. It's new. Uh, M- Modita. Modita. Modita, where yeah. you had a mojito. I had a mojito in a mojito, and it was owned by Moesha. No, uh, it was man. It, the, mo- <laughs> the mojito was. Good. I mean, the, the mojito was. <laughs> moesha good. was. Good. The mojito was good. <laughs> it was a great night, man. Like my roommate didn't bitch at me; she was actually happy, and then we we had a good night. And we walked around down there for a little bit, and then we went home. And I mean, which is all I needed, really. Cause I was leaving early in the morning anyway, so dude, it was just good. You know, I'm at the stage. You know, stage where I, you know, you know, I, I, a good meal. That's all I need, bro. So that was good, and I appreciate you, you know, giving the shout out. And it was uh. Yeah, just a good meal, man. It was fun. And uh, and then I went to El Paso and fuck, and had a good week in El Paso. Dude, that is my launching. I mean, you take an idea to El Paso, and, and, and the crowds are so receptive, and they're so with you wherever you go on stage. You know, like, they'll follow you on that journey. You know, some crowds, they kind of turn off, and, okay, let me get back to the, the regularly scheduled program. So, man, I mean, they're with you the whole way. So, man, I was flushing some ideas out, which were great, and... Um, Hit some jokes from different angles I didn't see coming that I've, you know, doing a lot. I said, you know, if you do the same joke in the same way with the same, you know, sometimes you got to change up. Okay, let me try this way or, or go a little bit further. In a different order. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, and no. instead of like, okay, the joke, blah, 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 punchline, boom, go somebody else. Instead, after the punchline, maybe ask a question about that punchline or whatever and take it a little bit further and ask a question about it. Even though, and I like how I do, you don't get into a rhythm, kind of like a, you kind of stop it. It's kind of stop and go instead of like blah, 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 and get it, you know, that little ball. I like to get like a stop and go thing because that way, I don't know, the mind works better that way in a way. And I, and I like it. That so it's, 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 like, it's like the flat steps on a, on a, on a staircase. So you, the landing pad, what they call it. So you, you're building a joke, you're climbing, you're climbing. Then you get on the landing pad, you stop, you look around. Oh, maybe I can keep going upward or you can branch off and you go to the left or the right. Something exactly. like that. It was fuck yeah, man. I, I loved it. I really didn't had a nice green room. So could, El Paso is your place, though. It like, is isn't that like it is. It really is, man. And they, they had uh my, my friend took me out to my, motherfucking vegan sloppy Joe. Motherfucker what? Yeah. So Yeah, that's when, what I would be saying. Dude, motherfucker what? Oh, dude, it was so damn good. So I mean Out of all the shitty foods in the world to make vegan, you pick sloppy Joe's. <laughs> dude, it was so good though. It was so good. Vegan stuff. So yeah, man, it was a great week. And you know, hey, and streak is broken, bro. Uh uh uh. So, no more retention for you? No more retention. That, that, that came out like the same night I was there. Bam. You got laid? Oh, did I? Oh boy, did I? Yay. Bam! Bam! Yeah, man, it was good. It was good. And I'm she was so go- happy for you. And, and was, she was close to my age, so it was like, you know, like we talked a little bit beforehand and then by close the- to your age, what does that mean? Yeah, she was in her 40s. So you just good. had a birthday. Yeah, yeah. She's close to, she was in her 40s, so it was I'm, I'm not saying So you that. finally had sex with a 40-year-old? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. And it was good, wasn't it? Motherfucker. 
I'm trying to tell your ass. See, you'll be listening. Man, I mean, I mean, it was like, I mean, like, I, you know, I was like, so, you know, I was ready at the same attention. Plus, I had that, you know, just that regular attention for being a, a black man every day in America. So that, you know, I had that you know, along with the semen retention. So it was like, yeah, you ready for this shit? You know, it was kind of like, kind of like a game seven, basically. Kind of like, you know, kind of like a game seven, like, I'm all in, baby. And, uh, man, it was good. So, I mean. You gave her six fouls, huh? You fouled out. Who did I? Oh, boy. Boy, did I ever. I mean, it was just a great night. Man, it was just a good, I mean, a good week. Just a damn was good Was she week. at the show? Or? Oh, man, I knew her beforehand. Knew her beforehand. Uh, okay, and so, yeah. Okay. So, knew her beforehand. It was like, it's always, you know, everybody knew what was up. You know, that's, that's the great thing about when everybody knows what's up. You can talk about, have hey, you seen anybody? You know what I mean? Or whatever. You know what? And no one's tripping. You know what I mean? Like, if, you don't say that shit when you're 20. Hey, you see anybody? What? You fucking somebody else? I mean, hey, hey, you see anybody? How come? Girl, you can see, you have a man. You saw, you know, it's just that kind of shit. Just talk about everything. It's just fucking cool. The pillow talk was good. The sex was good. Everything was good. I mean, the show was good. You know, ran some jokes by her. She laughed. I was this the fuck is great so yeah man it was just a great fucking week and uh, like people at the club uh they uh this girl made a uh she made a uh or ma- did she make it or she buy it for me she, uh some kind of dish she got for me it was good i like, just after the show went home ate, ate it in the, in the hotel dude it was just a great fucking week man just i mean that's the kind of week you go I mean, happy birthday to you. Thank you, brother. I mean, and thank you for and thank you for uh, putting on sorry or canceling everybody wishing me. Thank you guys. I mean that. So, dude, it was just. Mm, I mean, it was just perfect. And so, that yeah, makes man. Makes me happy that you got to get your rocks off with a forty-year-old. Thank you, brother. And after that, and then I said, well, since I'm off semen retention, I might as well have you know beat off fest 2022. <laughs> so yeah, I, no sense in going back on semen retention yet. So I think I'm gonna start that tomorrow. So I mean, I'm already off of it. So hey, <laughs> I mean, since I'm already off it, you know, it's kind of like kind of like if you already rob a bank. Hey, I might as well rob this convenience store. Fuck it, you know what I mean? <laughs> These are pocket change, you know what I mean? So that's what I did. So yeah, so I've been uh, so yeah, I got that, and then I said, well, fuck, I might as well go with the. Uh, might as well go with a uh, you know jerk fest 2022. So that 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 resumed again. It was good. So yeah, and I get, get, got some new categories on Pornhub. I never thought I would try. So it was great. I like like that. what like what. Uh, see another another I've, I've been doing is um I like the um I went with uh, uh small titties and then and then one then one I went with a uh, private society which is all I like amateur. You know me. I like amateur. I like uh, I like short hair sometimes. And then all oh, hippies. God, I love watching hippies, man. They're the greatest because sometimes they, oh, you are disgusting. Yeah, I know, I know, I know I, I <laughs> but I like hippies, man. It's kind of cool. So that's one of my favorite ones. Like, oh, I mean, because they're like, yeah, man, whatever. It's cool. Dude. I mean, yeah. So uh, that one. What's another one? Are I, you watching this on Pornhub? Yeah, I mean, hey, in matter of fact, no matter, no matter what you think of, it's gonna come up. You know, like. Fucking in the truck, boom! That's gonna come up. Uh, coworkers, fucking in the truck, boom. Coworkers, boom. I mean, no matter what you think of, it's gonna come up. So yeah, I use XNXX. That's what, the one I use. Say that. What was that again? XN- XNXX.com. Oh man, I, damn you never it. been there? No, you shouldn't have told me that. God damn, XNXX. Oh, you, gotta, you gotta go to XN before you get back on retention. Why? Why was that? What's that? Why, what, what's that? Everything? It's, it, yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck. and you can you can find your dirty feets and your hippies. They got great amateur porn on that one. Oh, they got shit. they got they got the public shit. <laughs> man, you should have told me that. Uh, that's what that's what you I should. like is the public shit. They be fucking in clubs and some dudes walking down the street with a girl and he's yeah. like, you know what? I'm gonna fuck you right here. And then some random strangers across the street, like, what are they doing yeah. over there? And she's all like, ah, ah. <laughs> No, <laughs> the best car rolls by, you see the license plate. <laughs> 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 they don't even digital. They don't even digitize it. No, no. is that Herman? No, <laughs> no. My, the, the best one. I think that was my car. <laughs> the best one. Was, yeah, you use it. You use it to recover your stolen car. Hey, wait a minute. That's downtown Indy. That's my old. That's my old Delta eighty eight. No. <laughs> Matter of fact, you know what? Um, uh, a true story. Like I didn't know, but uh, one of my friends or friends, one of my neighbors. I didn't realize he stole my mom's car back when I, you know, there was a, there was a period when I left Oklahoma that I didn't talk to my parents for like, it was like a 10, 20, 15 year period. I may have saw them twice a year, maybe, and hardly ever kept in touch. I, mean, I didn't realize like one of my neighbors ended up stealing my mom's car, right? And he stole my mom's car and he ended up like burning it. So like my mom, somehow, somehow she had to go somewhere to get something or some tires. 
And she goes, oh, look at my tire. And some dude goes, yeah, you know, uh, Charles stole your mom's car. He goes, really? And so, like, I think he ended up burning it. And I was like, really? Charles, I mean, I don't know if I put his name on blast, but I should. He took my mom's car, but that was like 20 years ago. But still, he said, I mean, we took those people, we took them to movies, had them over to my house for uh, uh, birthday parties. I mean, they're like, I understand if we did you wrong. I, maybe, kind of. I, I mean, You know what? No, it's not. There's no reason to steal somebody's mom's car. But we always did our neighbors right. I mean, honestly, we took them to movies. We treated them like they were our kids. We really did. And for them to do us like that, man, that made me so fucking mad. I'll tell you about the time they stole my basketball goal. And then the, the people stole my basketball hey, Next door neighbors stole your basketball court. Yeah, and then they put it in. And listen, they never had a basketball goal in their life, right? So, and, and, and our goal, literally, literally we, have a, we had a backyard that, that was surrounded by nothing. It was literally almost an open field. So, at one night, we went to bed. It, it wasn't there. We woke up like, hey, daddy, where did our basketball goal go? Huh? And it was gone, right? Middle of the, it was like nothing. Like, it was just a big slab of nothing out there. And, and only the pole was still there. So, we were like, they stole our shit. And then I swear to God, two days later, in the alley, playing basketball, spray painted. They spray painted our backboard, and they were shooting hoops. And I go, hey, uh, where'd you guys get that goal? Um, some dude sold it, sold it to it, really. And, it had, and our backboard had a little, uh, like, crack in it. They, they basically stole it. They made that story up. They stole it, put it in their, but their alley faced the front of our house. <laughs> I'm like these guys and my so dad. You could watch the stolen. Game. Yeah, we could we could watch them play basketball on our stolen goal, knowing good and goddamn well. Like, hey, when did they get when? And and, and, and the topper, the the guy's name was Crime. His, his nickname was Crime. I lie to you not. That was his name was Crime. Well, that helps narrow down the yeah. search. <laughs> and and, and he, he he seriously, I swear, I swear to God, like toward, toward like when he hey, got. Who, who do you guys think stole your basketball game? <laughs> Crime. Well, we've got. Um, Never stolen anything or crime. And I'm gonna go with crime. And by the time he got the mid, well, middle school for you guys, junior high, us, he goes, "My name is Kevin," but we called him Crime. <laughs> we called him. His nickname was literally Crime. And we, and we didn't. We we thought nothing. Of, hey, what's up, Crime? I mean, seriously, that's how we. What's up, Crime? That's how we did it. How do you it. nickname a nigga Crime? Dude, that's what we did back in the day. What's up, Crime? I mean, I mean, looking back on it, you know it, how awful you have to be to get that as your nickname. <laughs> And you're in elementary. I mean, your name, you're in elementary. Your nickname is Crime. Not Black. Now, what's up there, G? It's Crime. That was his nickname, was Crime. Yeah. I just remember, like, our, our street was, it was funny. Did Crime have both parents? Uh, I don't know if he had one parent. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that would explain the nickname. <laughs> I, think his, I think his brother ended up stabbing, like, like, like five, five, at least less than five years ago. I think his brother ended up stabbing somebody, or he got stabbed. One, my dad told me about it, but yeah. So it was, I wonder what his nickname was. No, his, his nickname was Pal. His nickname was Pal. It was Crime and Pal. <laughs> Seriously, crime I like you. Pals. They were Crime Pals. <laughs> that was the nickname of the kids. I'll steal yeah, he yeah. Crime and Pal. That was it, bro. That was it. That was my neighborhood. We are the Crime Pals. Yeah, Crime and In Pal. The world. Yeah, that was the nickname. This All right. All right, guys. <laughs> crime and Pal, man. In a small town in Oklahoma. <laughs> Oklahoma. Hey, but, but, but Crime but, Pal Syndicate. <laughs> Hey, but but that's how country my town was, man. That's how country we, we had the dude who was uh uh who was who, who, who walked down our, our our street and he literally would sing. We all knew he was gay, but never, never before we called him gay. My dad goes, "No, oh, here he comes." He was switching. He'd be singing like ah, to the top of his voice. I mean, top of his voice. He'd be singing and he'd be and he'd be like this and just switching. And my dad go, "Here he come." I mean, my dad, my dad was never off color. He go, "Here he come." <laughs> he just come down and he'd be hey and, hey and. He, he would come down and just be singing and switching. He'd go down to the Dairy Mist. That's what we call the Dairy Mist. Get his little, I don't know, we called the uh, the Brown Derby. And that, that was like a chocolate that was, you know, dipped you know, and it hardened and whatever. And he'd, he'd come back by and he'd be ah, singing whatever song and switching. And then he'd go on his way. And we all knew he was gay, but no one said it. And we just knew. And like, hey. And we, he'd go about his way. <laughs> Man, Get away from the crime pals. <laughs> yeah, away from the crime pals. Yeah. So, and that's, and that's, that, that was my neighborhood, bro. Yeah. I know. Back in 19... Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> back in the day. That was back in the day. Back when you had four channels. And, and TV actually went off. When I, you remember, do you remember in color and black and white? You know what, man? Fuck you, man. I mean, say, fuck you, man. Do I remember in black? Man, fuck you, you know? Everything was in color. Everything was in color. Seriously. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that is kind of funny. Dude. <laughs> you know, you asked your grandparents that. Hey, Grandpa, do you think? <laughs> we was too poor to afford colors. 
Oh, you know, I, I know it's a non sequitur, man, but you know what? I'm this close to having my other Instagram uh, deleted from Instagram. I, and I don't know why. Uh, listen. Which one? Uh, the, uh, the, the one the, you just made? The BT underscore comedy. Yeah. Because, uh, listen, all I did, they warned me about something. I, I mean, I was, joking, I was joking with a buddy of mine. I go, man, if you don't respond to me, I'm going to whoop your ass. And they came in and go, hey. Oh, uh, yeah, man. If you've ever made it on their Zuck fuck list, you're, it doesn't matter, bro. Whether you're, it's on, uh, Instagram or Facebook. If you're on Zuck's list of getting your shit banned, they are watching you hard as fuck. So, okay. So, so then the one I was going to post, it was this girl and she had these big ass titties, right? And so she took one of her titties like this and she smashed a beer can with it. And I was like, oh, that's fucking hot. And then they go, okay, one more time. They basically said, one more time. <laughs> and your account's going to be deleted. And all I said was, well, that's hot. That's all I think I said. That's hot. And no, I said, oh, that's really erotic. That's what I said. And uh, I was going to share it. And they immediately said, nope. You got to stay out of trouble, bro. Yeah, I know, man. You can't man. keep starting over. Man. Yeah, but you know what's messed up, though, man, is that other people... <laughs> uh, stop it. What are you doing? This dude... He, uh, Focus. Uh, I'm focused. Anyway, this other dude... I mean, other people post some other shit, and I'm like, how are they not getting canceled? And I post... I mean, I, you know, like, decent shit. I shouldn't be canceled. I shouldn't be close to being canceled. I mean, I shouldn't have my account canceled. I don't believe that. No, I, I don't post bad shit. No, but the last time that happened, I was I was kept asking you what happened. Yeah, I was like, what happened? Because you can't just I mean, you don't just get suspended for nothing. Hey, honestly, I think somebody is uh, somebody's got it out for me. Your shit. I, uh, what shadow? What shadow? Uh, shadow? Yeah, what shadow band? What's You're that? Not doing anything that would get you shadow banned? That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm just I mean, I'm nice dude. I don't even post the titties anymore. Remember I said you remember I said big titty white girl Friday. Big titty white girl Friday. Big titty white girl. And, and listen. I would post pictures. I, I don't know if you remember this. I, I used to put pictures of uh, a big titty white girls on a Friday. Two pictures, right? It was never nudity. It was just really big titty white girls, right? And I call it BW, big titty, BT, big titty, uh, W, <laughs> white, uh, F, BT, big titty, BT, white, W, G, F. And people go, what does that stand for? And I go, what do you think it stands for? They go, come on, tell me. I've never tell them, but I go, it's obvious. I mean, listen, I got a junior college education. So, I mean, if I could figure it out, well, actually, well, I'm the one doing it. So, but anyway, if, I, if I'm doing it, how come you can't figure it out? But nobody, nobody ever bitched about that. I would post, I mean, seriously, sometimes I would post, they almost be porn star doing like this. All they're doing is cover their nipples. Busy work, and nobody bitched about that. I never got warned, never got banned, nothing. And I do shit like little shit like, oh man, that's hot. And now I'm getting like, hey, one more time, and you're out of here, bro. And I'm like, really? Really? I mean, that's what I'm saying. I post damn near nudity, right? I, I used to go, I used to be really bad. I used to post chicks like doing like, uh, and I'm like, oh my God. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm posting this. And then, but nobody bitched about it. No one bitched about it. And matter of fact, when I said, you know what? I mean, that was kind of, that was like a year or two before me too. I go, you know what? I'm feeling weird about posting this shit. I said, I'm retiring. This is my last post. Dudes, guys hit me up on, on direct message that you didn't, you wouldn't think watch this shit. They go, come on, man, don't do that. They go, you're doing the Lord's work. I go, oh my God. What I'm wondering is why are you even posting any of that? Because I used to be that way. I, when I used to really be in like, oh man, she's hot. You know what I mean? And then and, and I, you know, I used to post shit like that all the you time. Used like, to be a thirsty ass. Yeah, I used to be thirsty, yourself. but now I ain't even thirsty no more. You also have to take into account if you're thinking about what went wrong. Like if you look at somebody like Dion, he posts like a normal amount. So it's like there's not the chances of something being like him being suspended for posting something is not that high. You post but but like uh, yeah, five thousand yeah. times a day. Uh, that's not the point. To why what I'm saying is, I mean that's how I am now. But back in the day, I used to post some nasty shit back in the day. But I never even got warned back in the day. I mean, I, seriously. And what I got banned for was some shit that was like, really for this? Just delete the app. Uh, Instagram. Yeah. No, I need it. Bye, guys. Love you guys. Have a great summer. You you need to <laughs> you need to focus. That, on, that's what I'm on, saying. I am focused. But I'm just saying. No, no. I, I need the app. I need that app. Instagram is my favorite. Instagram and now and not for what because man that's, that's how I advertise uh, uh, tails he likes to post his corny ass jokes it's no like tails super terrible dad T- uh, tails oh well what city I'm coming to all that shit man I mean seriously I mean even though you only see the yeah the uh, the other shit I post like the motorcycle videos and all the other yeah, shit but most of your Instagram is just bullshit it's just like I hurt my feelings Wyatt you hurt my feelings, Wyatt. Damn, he called your Instagram. Bullshit. <laughs> Damn. Oh, White Wyatt, who went wider with his voice, Damn. called my shit bullshit. Damn, Wyatt. I just want to let you know that your Instagram is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're going to serve me some spaghetti that ain't even baked. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't even fried, Wyatt. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. 
<laughs> ah, look at you. Nice. He wow. said, stop posting that whack shit. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I think my stomach's fucked up. Man, I've been going through uh, packs of Rolex, man, like they're certs. And you got, you got uh, halitosis. I mean, so I, I have to chew fucking Rolex. Come on. My stomach's always bubbling. This bro is eating Rolex on air <laughs> through the microphone. <laughs> What the stump. fuck are you doing, man? I, I, what part of, what part you of my... act like you don't... You're not on air, bro. What are you doing? What part of my stomach hurting don't you understand, Dion? You're not supposed to be chewing into the microphone, bro. Well, that's when you're supposed to talk, radio. Dan. What are you supposed to talk? We're not on radio. No one gives a fuck about your goddamn <laughs> stomach hurting. Yes, they Stop do. eating vegan sloppy <laughs> joes. Dude, that was like three or four weeks ago. That, 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 that vegan sloppy joe came out that about 40 minutes later. Yeah, I bet. It really did. But, what did but, you eat today? Uh, nothing, as a matter of fact. That's why I'm kind of hungry. Well, maybe that's why your fucking stomach hurts. My stomach hurts every day, Dion. My, see, my Dion hurts. My, my Dion hurts. <laughs> my, my Dion. My Dion hurts. <laughs> my Dion hurts every day. <laughs> my Dion hurts. My Dion has the first name. Is D E O N? No. Um, no, man. Uh, I think I got. I think I'm going to have to go see a doctor, man. Like I don't. Think I have an ulcer, bro. I think ulcers are overrated. Have you, have I, you I, ate any sugar? I always eat sugar, man. I put sugar on top of my sugar. That's how much I eat sugar. I mean, I... Well, yeah, I know. You might have but, an ulcer. That but, probably wouldn't but I don't eat sugar like I used to. But, it's, I mean, even when... Listen, even when I don't eat sugar... It, I mean, I've been doing it my own kind of experiment. Like, even when I drink water, it's like, man, that kind of irritates it. If I eat the wrong... If I drink the wrong kind of water, bottle of water, it irritates it. Where'd you go, Dion? Take a dump? So I'm here. Okay. Yeah, even if I drink all kind of bottle of water, it irritates it. I don't know what's going on, man. It's, but my stomach has not been right for Probably the past... all that cold water you've been shooting up your ass with the bidet. Man, let me tell you something. That bidet has given me a whole new lease on life. I, I mean, I was at my hotel going, oh my God, this is what poor people <laughs> use? Oh God. It's like a public restroom. Jesus. <laughs> you went back in the time. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Man, let me tell you something, dude. My hotel maid the first night or first morning, she came in my room, didn't even knock, just walked in. I was like, I, I mean, I could have been doing the business, you know what I mean? And she just walked in. <laughs> And I was like, hey. I was hoping you were doing the business. Man, you know what? One of these days, I'm, you know. She the, had fat cankles? Actually, she, she was kind of like, she looked, she looked like the type that if she did catch me doing the business, I could go, hey, shut the door. And she'd be like, what are you trying to do? I go, what do you think I'm trying to do? She go, oh my God. She looked like that kind of, because she, no offense, but she all tatted up and she had like, you know, I mean, no offense. She looked like, if I pulled out, she'd be like, oh. She looked like a slut. You said that, I mean. She, she, she looked like no, yeah. she looked like if I pulled Louis C.K., she'd be like, oh, what you got over there? You know what I mean? Go. Yeah. She wouldn't be like, oh, my God. You know? She, hey, if I pulled a Deshaun Watson, she wouldn't be like, oh, God, I'm out of here. <laughs> man, that mother. She wouldn't have you in court? Hey, man, that dude. I read the credit. Oh, my God. That dude should be in jail. Allegedly. Those are all no, allegations. Man, from what I read, I mean, the things I've read, read, that were like what the, 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 the uh, massage therapists have said. And then he lied to Cleveland. He said, okay, it only happened 23 times. 23 times. But then the 24th came and they were like, oh, this might be the one. You know, the 24th led to 66. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the 23rd, hey, look, we're cool with the first 23. Yeah, you know how women be lying. But 24, hey, now you lied to us. Like, really? It's one every hour, bro. He was getting busy. And then he, had, he posted a video. He posted a video of him playing indoor basketball with a porn star in his house. Hey, you want to know whose fault it is? His hit. offensive line. If he wasn't getting hit so much, he wouldn't need so much <laughs> massage therapy. <laughs> That's who you blame, the old line. <laughs> so you're trying to say he's got CTE already? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> really? Really? He's just I'm a piece. Saying he's sore because his offensive line is shit. And that's what led to those women getting touched. <laughs> I never <laughs> thought. Not picking up the blitz. <laughs> First of all, I want to I blame my offensive lineman. They the one. If I had a good offensive line like, like Dak Prescott, I, I wouldn't even be here. Three seconds to throw the ball. I wouldn't have to order this back page massage <laughs> therapist. <laughs> Why don't he just go to a strip club and give them some like 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 oil and say rub me down instead of and suddenly getting uh, you legit? You know how many athletes have non disclosure agreements with their whores? It's not that hard. But why does he go to legit massage therapist and then get caught? I mean, why don't you just go to a strip or, or go hey, to or go to a CD? That, you've seen that porn category, bro. Exactly. So why don't you <laughs> why don't you go to them? Or go to, honestly, I hate saying it, but go to those seedy ones, like, the, you know, no offense, the Asian ones. Go to the Asian ones. They're not going to tell. 
And you know, I could go to the one Robert Kraft was going to. Exact yeah. the one who got the finger up his ass. Go go there, and, and <laughs> they're not gonna tell. You're not gonna tell, and but you're gonna go to the ones like you don't know if they're cool. I mean, if not say cool, and you don't know if they're with it, and you just start. I mean, God damn, dude. It's like, what are you doing, bro? Dude, there's nothing worse than thinking a girl is and finding out she's not. <laughs> Dude, ex- what, what I've always said, because it's like, I'm, 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 I should bring this joke back. Put I, your goddamn cock away. <laughs> hey, you never, know if a, hey, you never know if a girl's into you. So, I mean, because you can't go all sixth grade like, hey, do you like me? So you got to, you know, I think she likes me, whatever. And she might want to. Yeah, you just got to wait till she pulls it out. And then, <laughs> <laughs> so you go in for the kiss and the worst thing a girl could ever say is, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Man, when she does that, the only thing you can do is kill her after that because, I mean, you can't. I mean, you can <laughs> kill her. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I'm just joking. But you can't. I mean, think about it. You can't really go back to, okay, you want to go see a movie? I mean, think about it. That ruins everything. So you don't know. So going in for the kiss is the worst thing. Well, you don't know if a chick likes you. I mean, what do you say in that moment? Like, hey, uh, are you seeing anybody? Are you Who are you liking now or whatever? Or, you know, and okay, or throw us a hint. Ladies are bad. Uh, here's, one, here's one thing that pissed me off that women always do. You think she likes you or you think you're hooking up, whatever, right? You think, and so say you're performing. Women have done this shit before. And they bring their guy friend and you go, what the fuck is this about? You know what I mean? <laughs> you, ever, you ever had that happen? Man, I'm like, really? You could bring a bitch. You, you brought this dude with you. And then you don't get an attitude with me for going, all right, we'll take it easy. Oh, why were you that way? Why the, thing, why the fuck you think I'm that way? I, women do shit like that all the time. You block me with another cock, that's why. Yeah, oh, that's just my friend. How the fuck am I supposed to know that shit? I mean, and what and what's he thinking? Cause I'm thinking, if, Dude, if, did I ever tell you the story about the time I worked with this chick who I thought for sure she liked me? We used to work together at the health food store, Georgetown Market. Okay, tell me. She, she worked in the deli. I worked in grocery. Okay. And, and we used to flirt literally every day. Those departments aren't next to each other. They're on well, opposite ends of the store. Well, but we would always have lunch together, right? Oh, shit. I'm macking on her every day. And I'm thinking... I, I'm about to ask this girl out. I know she liked me. I feel it. Like she would go out of her way to see me, say hi to me. She smile at me. Real exactly. Hard. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm James Bond, right? I'm in like Flynn. I'm like, all right. So Black I finally get the courage to ask her out, right? Right. I'm like, hey, you want to go out Saturday night? And with the straightest face, bro, she just hit me with a no and walked away. And when I tell you my soul was crushed for a whole year, bro, a whole year, I was second guessing everything. I'd have sold my, I'd have bet the farm. You tell me, I'd have, I'd have sold my car, all my possessions. I'd have put it all in. She going to say yes. And she hit me with the coldest, smoothest no with no explanation, bro. It was just no. And then that was it. We didn't talk again. She went off to school. She God. got married to a dude. Like, it was, I was like, yo, what the fuck just happened, right? Fast forward 10 years, she gets a divorce. She slides in my DM, and I'm like, you know you broke my heart, right? You know you broke my heart. Like, I thought she was going to say yes, and then she tells me the story. No, I really liked you, but my parents wouldn't have liked you, and I was I can shy, see that. and... <laughs> <laughs> Hit me with the, all that bullshit, and I was like, "Man, get the fuck out of here, man." Oh, me, you know what? Honestly, in a way, that no hurt. Bro. Oh, I can feel it in your heart right now. I mean, I, but oh, I, but hurt. you know why? Because I know that no. I, could I bend to that no, man? And, and that and that is the worst. Don't get me wrong, ladies. You can be nice, but there's, there's got to be something women can do. Hey, listen. I like you as a friend, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, there's got to be something you can do to let us know, hey, listen, we're friends, but you ain't getting his ass. I'm not going to go out with you. But, hey, you're my dude. You know like, what they need to do? What? Give a no pussy pass. Like, you're not getting no pussy over here. Here's your pass. So you can take the, like, oh, she's not going to fuck me. I got the pass. I'm moving on. Or keep calling me buddy. Hey, buddy. You know, or something like that. <laughs> I, 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 if you, if you, I'd rather you call me, keep calling me buddy, so I'll know. Then go, hey, you want to do lunch? Calling me, calling me buddy and get you punched in the throat. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no. Listen, I'd rather you call me buddy, so I'll know. So you keep... Re- so so you so it, it, it like it, it sinks in like osmosis like okay she don't like me we're just friends or all you do is talk about your dude and like how much you like him or what do you like so I'll know we're just friends but if you keep me with the hey you gonna do lunch we we'll do this and that how am I not supposed to go I think she likes me you know what I mean and like and you know me I don't care what what dude you are you always like huh like this like like a six year old at Christmas Eve like oh my god tomorrow right. And then, when, like you said, when that, when that no comes, <laughs> you women have no idea how much. I mean, we want to cry on the inside, but then we're thinking, like, you know what? 
Dateline NBC, here I come. I mean, you're just, you're thinking <laughs> like, like, man, I mean, it's just, I wish you would tell us like some way, like just hip us like, no, you're not, you're just my friend. So keep going, hey buddy, or oh my God, that one dude said one dude, I think I'm gonna ha- I think he's gonna ask me out. Or something, let us know we're just friends. Because if you it doesn't, it doesn't benefit a man to be friends with a woman. No, 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 no. I I I I I uh I, I disagree because I think why what do you think? My friend asked me this the other day. I'm torn between it, but I would say I'm more on Dion's side. It doesn't benefit you to be friends with a woman? Yeah. Now, let me tell you something. You get more out of a woman if you're just friends. And listen, if she knows you like her or she knows at the drop of a hat, if she goes, hey, you want to and your butt ass naked on the couch with a hard dick? Like, oh, I was just going to ask you if you want to help me move this couch, but I guess we're fucking. You know what I mean? So, uh, so she wants you to do manual labor. No, no I'm just saying. Uh, no, you want. no, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. No, 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 listen, 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 listen. What I'm saying is as an example, okay? But what I'm saying is if she knows you like her, right? And she's kind of told you in a roundabout way, no, but you still stick around. But you don't keep asking her out and you're just, and you're just friends and you don't make it and you don't make it weird. You get more out of her than if you were. Yes, you do. You a hey, no, because you're always waiting. No, 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 no. Up. No, you might be. But if you don't ask and you don't keep asking or trying and you're like I say, you she don't uses you. No, 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 no. She's not because if dudes off of you. No. And to. Yes. No, because it, no, if you know the deal, listen, you're a grown ass man. So you can easily go. Nah, fuck. I ain't doing it. But if you know the deal and you go in and go, you know what? Fuck it. I, okay, perfect example. I hate to put her name out there. Fuck it. Uh, my friend Amber. Right. You know, Amber. Amber's hot as fuck. Right. And so whenever we go places, be like, y'all like, no, no, no. And we were always just friends, right? She was like in a in a tight little jam or whatever. Did you ever want to fuck Amber? You know what's funny? And I swear to God, man, I never, d- I mean, we were tight, 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 tight. Did you ever want to no. stick your penis inside of Amber? I mean, but, uh, it's a simple uh, yes. yes or no. So that's what you stuck But listen, with Amber no, no, I didn't. 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 Because listen, no, I didn't. I did not. Listen, are you going to let me talk? Are you going to put words in my mouth? Are you going to I want some dick. Would you fuck her? Yes. Okay, here's the deal though. But that no, but I didn't pursue her like that. And she's married now and we're all cool and I never made it weird. Yes, it does matter, Dion. Now, it'd be different if from the get-go I was like, oh, fuck, I got to fuck this bitch. And like, I just say my, okay, my friend, do we black out names on here? We black out names on here. We come for everybody, I think. Okay. Well, anyway. Okay. Remember? Okay. Now, if my friend Stephen, the one I've always wanted since day, since to, since the first day I moved here in 2006, when I walked into Cardinal Fitness, and I was like, "Who's this bitch right here, Stephanie?" I've always wanted to fuck Stephanie. Now, Stephanie always sees him at the gym. I don't even think Stephanie knows my fucking name, but he, I mean, but we've talked ever since, ever since 2006, and I think she pretty much knows that I would. Oh, that I've, I've wanted to fuck Stephanie since day one. Right now. She's always been cool to me. I never made it weird. So if something came up where she was like, hey, listen, hey, could I please, I need to borrow your truck. Yeah, no problem, Steph. And I never made it weird. You're going to get more out of that girl than if you were trying to fuck her. And then, oh, come no, on. you're not getting anything. Out yes, you would. Shit. Yes, you would, Dion, because she would be like, she hey, did. no, she'd be like, hey, listen, hey, I got these two extra UFC tickets. I'm not going to go. You want them? Yeah. Hey, I, hey, I got this. But I, I, I'm also gonna when see, does that ever happen to you? All the fucking time, Dion. You get a lot more out of women. If you're just friends and don't make it weird, and they'll, they'll give you shit. They'll be like, hey, listen, I'm not going to go to this Dave Chappelle concert. You want these two tickets? They'll yeah. They'll give you the one thing, and they'll give you everything but the one thing you want. Hey. I don't need a bitch to buy me UFC tickets. I don't need a bitch to but, buy no, me But I'm saying no. But, give and, me the one no. thing I can't go and get myself. Yes, you can vagina. do that. You, you No, you can go get that. You can go pay for it. It's easy. I mean, it's America. And, and that's what I'm talking about. But, that's what but, I'm saying. but she'll you, give you anything and everything except for the one thing that you really want. But it, but it works out better in the long run because you don't make no, it weird. It does. Yes, it's it does, Dion. Yes, it does. yes, it does. Yes, it does. You don't make Wyatt, it weird. What do you, Wyatt, please tell him that it doesn't work out in the long run. Yes, it does. You start simping. That's what happens. What's, what, what does that mean? That means you'll do anything and everything for a woman in hopes of getting in her pants. No, nah, I, I don't do that. I don't. I, I do stuff out of the goodness of my heart. Now, if they want to, if they want to throw that pussy to me, I'm, hey, I'll, I'll be glad to be like, you, oh you're, shit, you're, uh, Terrell you're too Owens. Creepy to do anything out of the goodness of your heart. <laughs> Man, fuck you, man. I do a lot of shit of the goodness <laughs> in my heart. I do a lot of shit. Of, I would do a lot of shit of the goodness in my heart. I'm never in it for, I mean, listen, if I'm after you to try to fuck you, I'll still do stuff nice for you. And I'm hoping you're fine. But if you're just a girl who needs a, 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 a like, hey, man, could you float me, you know, float me a, a, a solid? I will do that for you without going, man, I hope I get some boots. I mean, no, I do it out of the goodness in my heart. If they happen, hey, you know and what? women use the shit. I, you're no, 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 no. Listen, you're a grown, if you're a grown ass man, right? 
you allow yourself to be used. Fuck, you allow yourself. I mean, yo, yeah, you allow yourself because you're a grown ass fucking man. You can always say, nah, bitch, I ain't doing that shit. No, find somebody else. You can easily do that. So you allow yourself to get walked on. You allow say, so no. That's I'm a, what I'm saying. And what I'm saying that's is, what, that's what I'm not being used they, because they I'm keep you around just enough to get shit out of you. But if you were to come to ask them for the one thing that you've always wanted the entire time, they will look like you, like you have four heads. Like, ugh, get away from me. No. No. I, yeah, they could come and ask you for all this other shit, but because you're a good person, they know they could get that out of you. But I'm not trying to fuck, uh, 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 like, like on a barter system, hey, you know I helped you move, right? You know I got a bad back. You know I helped you move. And you know, I no, ain't as young as I used to be. So, hey, I help, you move, I help you move that refrigerator. Planet. So, hey, why don't you float me some egg? I help you move. No, I do it out of the goodness of my heart, damn. And I don't care if they float me some ass. I mean, honestly, I really don't. I really don't. No, no, you're not. I'm not helping you move no couches, no furniture, no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You can't. You can't. No, hold on. Go, go, go ahead. Why, why, why is talking? Why, why is talking? Why do you keep putting stuff in your mouth to chew? I'm sorry, because my stomach hurts bad. So my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Hey, what are? How old are you? But, um, listen, but at least it's not an impossible breakfast sandwich. I mean, that that would be horrible. I mean, you're in here for like an hour and you can't just sit there. You know what, man? Okay, okay. You had all day to eat. You knew what we was doing today. My stomach hurts not because I'm not eating. I don't know what part of that I told you two motherfuckers that I got stomach problems. I, and it's not from eating or not eating or whatever. Well, it, there's something stop wrong. Stop taking so much colon broom. There's something. It's See, there you go again with that bullshit. I'm trying to tell you it's something else, something deeper. And if I'm not around a year from now, y'all gonna be sorry y'all said this shit. I can't Sorry, do this shit no BT's more. BT's canceled. <laughs> hey guys, uh, BT's been called to the upper room. Hope he's getting some ass. We're gonna, up. We gonna put that on your tombstone. <laughs> Hope he's getting some ass up there, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> After he moves all the furniture up here, she might give him some. <laughs> hey, I'm help, hey, help move these pearly gates. Hey, Jesus, you think you uh, ask one of them angels to give me some ass? <laughs> He's gonna have you paving the roads full of gold <laughs> for angel pussy. <laughs> Man, my back hurts. Hey, Jesus, you think one of these angels can give me some ass? <laughs> Or jerk me off or something. <laughs> a, hand, a heavenly hand job. That'd be great, wouldn't it? From Mother Teresa. I mean, all the good. Yeah, she's, she's inexperienced. You don't want her rubbing one out on you. Yeah, she, she, she make you feel guilty. Is this what you want? Is, yeah, actually it is. It is. <laughs> all the, all, you saw the good I did down there and, she, and didn't get no ass. Hey, hey I, but I go, you saw the good I did in there and nobody hooked me up. So I'm here. That's why I'm here. So I expect to be compensated for it. So you know what to do. Hey, <laughs> you believe in helping the poor and unfortunate now. And right now I'm an unfortunate. So you know what to do, Mother Teresa. That's uh, spitting that spitting at palm. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's get it over with. She probably has no saliva in her mouth whatsoever. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she would know what it one was. You think she would? You think Mother Teresa would know what a hand job what is? A hand job? Yeah, yeah, she knew what a hand job. No, was. Ma, the you know mother time she walked in on people giving themselves hand jobs, she helping the poor. The poor be helping themselves. No, <laughs> oh, no, but hey, hey, we have seen homeless people beating off in the streets of San Francisco. That's, I'm sure there was a homeless person. That's mother different. Mother Teresa was taken care of. That's different being a, a whole. I mean, a family is hungry, and they, when you're hungry, you're not thinking, man, I really got to masturbate. You're like, oh god, I want to eat. You don't well, think there's protein in it. You might as well. Dion. Listen, that's just real. I, matter of fact, bring up the years Mother Teresa was around. I guarantee you, she wouldn't know what a hand job was. Bring it up. Yeah, she would. I bet she, she would. Was alive in the nineties. Uh, yeah, she died in the nineties, so she probably was born. I'm gonna say nineteen thirty-seven. I'm gonna say she. I'm, I'm just saying right now, she was born. I'm gonna say she was born nineteen thirty-seven. What about you, Dion? I'll go thirty-three. Okay, bring up Mother Teresa. Born August nineteen ten. Wow, we were way off. September nineteen ninety seven. We were way off, Dion. Nineteen ten. See, yeah, they didn't have hand jobs. Nineteen ten. Just missed the off. <laughs> they didn't have hand jobs. <laughs> they have hand jobs. Nineteen ten. That was when you just like, oh, I feel weird. Uh, no, they definitely had hand jobs in nineteen ten. Where you think that game came from with the stick and a wheel? <laughs> what, what what game is the stick and the wheel? What you game? remember that Google stick and wheel game? It was just a stick and a wheel, and you had to. You remember that game? You were there. Oh, man, fuck you, Dion. <laughs> I mean that. You mean you just rolled a tire down the street? Yeah. Why don't you say roll a tire down the street? It'd be, it'd be made because it was made out of a uh, a wooden wheel, like a barrel. All you do is say roll a tire down the street with uh, roll rims down the street, basically. Yeah, I mean, who didn't do that? I didn't do that game because I was uh, I mean, I wasn't born until nineteen ninety three, but still, I, I, I nineteen what? I'm not, sorry, nothing, man, nothing. Nineteen eighty what? Stop it. Just stop it. No, but I no, I never I never heard of that game. I mean, I never heard of it, but I've seen it done. 
on Love TV. Teresa would give you a dry hand job for sure. She wouldn't know what a hand job was back in those days. And she was she's always been angelic. Yeah. Did you see her room? Her room was the size of uh of your average bathroom at, at an old Exxon station back in 1993. And she had one bed because she believed in giving everything to the poor. And no one talked about how great she, she was. She was the poor. What are you talking about? Because she gave everything to the poor. That's why. That's why she was a great person. So she would know what a hand she job was. She no pussy. <laughs> who, who, who would want Mother <laughs> Teresa pussy? Seriously. Ugh. Somebody. No, nobody. A lot of them fucking terrorists mm. want 72 virgins. She's actually, virgin. no. Actually, that, that's 72 raisins. I know for a fact that was. I, I, I watched the whole thing on terrorism, and that mean it's not 72 virgins. It's 72 raisins. I, I watched the thing on terrorism. Raisins? Yes, raisins. And you know like what? Like old grapes? Yes. And you know when that started? You Who know the when fuck dies for grapes? What that? But because it got twisted and, and everybody you thinks you get seventy two raisins on Earth. What the fuck, dude? That's what I'm telling. And you know what? You know where terrorism started? It started in uh, Colorado. <laughs> it started in the thirties in Colorado, where it was a guy from Iran, and he went to a, a, a school dance, and he was like, "Oh my god!" And that was in the thirties. And he went, "Oh my god!" They're dancing. I mean, that wasn't. Think about it. That was like what Lawrence Welk days. And he was so a slavery wasn't terrorism. And he well, he was from Iran, so you know, I mean, you know, so he but he was there and he saw him dancing. I don't know what they were doing over in his country, but apparently they were. I guess they didn't touch women unless you were married. I guess, and I guess it. I guess the waltz was too much for him because he he went back he went back to the crib and go, you ain't gonna leave what they're doing in America. What are they doing? And he told them they were like, oh, we gotta bomb them, and that's and that's where uh, modern day uh, terrorism started. And it started in I think Greeley, Colorado. Pull it up, Wyatt. I think it started in Greeley, Colorado. I'm serious. Where did... I know you are. That's why it's funny. History of terrorism. Thanks, Sarah. I'm sure there's not an exact date for when terrorism started. <laughs> it's definitely not, but we'll let BT roll with it. No, I mean, it's like saying, when did mean people start? Or when did like something like that start? Mean people started once the internet was born. <laughs> hey, we should go with... Uh, I wonder who was the first internet troll. Mm. I wonder who the first guy was because you know it was a dude. It's always a dude. It's always a dude. Want to go with uh? Would you rather now? Yep, I got him. Okay, let's go. Would you rather punch a hornet's nest or a sleeping bear? Fuck, sleeping bear. Yeah, sleeping bear because you, you had a chance to uh, a sleeping bear. You bam hit him. He he's got to be like you can hit him and he might not even wake up. He, but yeah, but if he did, I mean, what the fuck just. Oh, you motherfucking human. And by the time he, you know, got the stuff out of his eyes and shit and brushed his teeth, hey, man, you're gone. So, yeah. Yeah, where are you punching the bear? Are you, are yeah. you punch him in the face, in the back? Punch like, him in the asshole. I just, just really stunned. Punch him right in the asshole. So he'll go, no, man, like, what the fuck just happened? I think like in the stomach or back area. Oh, man. You, hey, as hard as you can. Let me tell you something. A stomach punch that's unexpected is just as good as punching somebody in the face. You punch somebody. going to hurt a bear. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna hurt a bear but, unless you're unless you're Tyson or somebody like that. By the way, I, I watched uh, 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 Jurassic Park and they shot him with a regular gun. He was like, "Ow!" and he backed away. I go, "Really?" It was a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and I was thinking, "You can shoot a bear and they still keep coming." But they shot him with a regular gun. He was like, "Ow!" and he backed up. I go, "Okay, I'm done." <laughs> I did. I go, oh, I'm done. They, they shot a Tyrannosaurus Rex, one of the most ferocious dinosaurs ever, with a regular old gun. They nicked him. He was like, ooh, ow. Was it, was it a handgun? Yeah, like a regular old handgun. Not even a rifle, just a regular handgun. millimeter. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like a, I think it was a 22 maybe. I don't know, but it's like. A Glock 40? Yeah. Anyway, he backed up. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. I go, okay, I'm done. I guess it was like the modern day, like, you know, Generation Z Tyrannosaurus Rex. Like, that hurt my feelings. Oh, the fact why that, would you do that to me? I, I, I you invaded my safe Let's space. Let's get a handle on the situation. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, who does nails? <laughs> who does dinosaur nails? <laughs> what would you punch, Wyatt? The hornet's nest or the bear? I'd do hornet's nest. Really? Yeah, you would. Yeah, because I've seen Why would that. Get fucked I've up. seen Over the Hedge. What's that? Over the Hedge? What's Over the Hedge? It's a movie. It's a cartoon movie where he, this guy pisses off a, this raccoon pisses off a bear. And the whole movie is the bear hunting the raccoon down, uh, basically trying to kill him. I don't like the way you say raccoon. Don't say raccoon no more. Raccoon? <laughs> Do you hear that? Ooh, that coon, that ooh. Stinks. Raccoon? Ra- rac- raccoon? <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that a bear plotted to get a, a whole movie to get a raccoon made you go, you know what? I'd rather punch a hornet. Yeah, because I have like, uh, I have like, Nightmares of the bear hunting you down. And that's animated. Yeah. So it wasn't real. 
Jesus fucking great. And you thought I was bad. And, 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 you, and, you, and, you thought, and you thought me wanting to be in a space yeah, circus yeah. was bad. Yeah. <laughs> you thought me wanting yeah, to travel in space circus. A bunch of hornets nests, wow. Yeah, because I saw an animated movie about a bear plotting revenge. A bear. a bear was like, hmm. <laughs> He's reading books like, okay. Where was the raccoon? What is her habitat? Okay. What does he like to watch on TV? What time does he go to bed? He's, he's plotting. The bear, was, the, hornet's nest the, the bear was determined. He was determined the whole movie. Like, but the it hornets, was animated. Hornets would be like pissed off, I feel like, right away. And then they'd be like, all right, he's good. We'll let him go. No, they would sting you until you died. Yeah, why? I don't know what school you went to. Because if you the destroy their nest. nest, they're going to be like, bitch, do you know how long it took us to build that shit? Yeah, it took us like two weeks. We had to go to, we, 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 they just we had to, go to Home to Depot. Kill. We had to get some Mexican hornets to help us build this thing. And now you're going to destroy <laughs> some it. Mexican hornets. Yeah, yeah, the Mexican hornets to help us do it. That's why we did it like in two hours. <laughs> And then you're just going to come around and destroy the it. the next goddamn question. <laughs> Fucking Mexican hornet. Mexican hornet. What are you talking They about? work harder. They really do. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. Jesus. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys were ideas going to die. Anyway, go ahead. Would you rather have a dog that looks like a baby or a baby that looks like a dog? A dog that looks like a baby. <laughs> I'd rather have a dog. Like, instead of, I mean, I wouldn't want to have a baby that looks like a dog. <laughs> I, I really, I really would. <laughs> I would want to go, oh, look at my baby. And they go, my God, is that a German Shepherd? No, it's my son. <laughs> yeah, let me go with the yeah. dog that looks like No, you baby. ever see a baby that's like a pug? And you go, oh, my God. I mean, you ever see like a baby, like an ugly-ass baby? You go, Jesus fucking. <laughs> I've and, seen some babies, and I'm like, nine months, and this is what you look like? God damn. Man, I mean, I wonder, honestly, and I mean, it's about, I wonder if the parents go, Jesus Christ. And they have to go. This is not an attractive baby, but maybe nah, they're already invested. I mean, but I mean, no, there's love. No, I mean, but inside, like they don't say it outside outwardly, and they might not even say it to their mate, but they might be like, "God damn, my kid is." Up. I mean, I wonder if they do that if they think if they if they say it to themselves like, "Fuck, he is, he's mugged," and then they go, "Maybe he'll grow out of it." You know what I mean? I wonder if they do that. They have to. There's gonna be a, a, a reality that goes, "Man, this kid is fucking." ugly but he's my son so I have to love him. I know a grandmama who thinks one of her grandbabies is ugly <laughs> and what grandma would that be <laughs> <Miss Pat. laughs> that's what I'm talking about right she there. said she said when he was born I th- he think he was smoking cigarettes <laughs> she said he built like a construction worker <laughs> come out with baby Tim like, that's your grandbaby come out with baby Tim's own a tattoo how the fuck you get a tattoo in there <laughs> Go ahead, why the next one? Go ahead, why, why? Why? Dead air. Why? Read the question, please. Would you rather swim with sharks or spend the night in a forest with mountain lions? Swim with sharks. Nope. Uh, I'm going to go with mountain lions. I'm going to go swim with sharks. Because you can swim with the real docile sharks. I mean, not many of them attack. Seriously. Like, uh, is it, uh, I swim with some sharks in, in the Bahamas. Now. Yeah, but sharks are curious with their mouth, and I'm cool. No, nah, they're like, you know, hey, what's going on? Oh, okay, he's cool. I mean, only like a couple of them are really aggressive. Yeah. Almost it's none it's of gonna them It's going to take one of them to just bite you one time. If you're time. calm around sharks, you're, they're fine. Yeah, just be calm. Cool. and cause they, cause they don't like humans, so if they go, okay, it's a human. We're out of here. Bullshit. Dude, mountain lions don't give a fuck, dude. Mountain lions will, I mean, they- You can scare a mountain lion away. Okay, I seen mountain lions. I've seen it happen. I've seen a I've seen mountain lions hunting down mountain bikers, but I also seen a Rottweiler come to the rescue uh, of a small dog from a mountain lion. Mountain lions like, oh shit, we doing I've this. I've seen a shark confuse a nigga for a seal, and your black ass will look very sealish in the ocean. You trying to say I'm black? You trying to say I'm black like that? <laughs> no, I'm saying you black and wet in the ocean. They gonna think your ass. Hell, y'all already look like seals, so they'll bite the fuck out you. <laughs> Black and wet sounds like a category. It's like a, it's like a porn, doesn't it? Black and wet. <laughs> black and wet. <laughs> That's the black version of uh, what, what's, what's that movie that the, the one all the women like is supposed to be so hot? Fifty Shades of Grey. Black and wet. Black and wet. The, the black Fifty Shades of Grey. Black and wet. He liked to go swimming, and he was black. The girls liked him, all the black girls, because he could swim, because he was black. Black and wet. Fifty Shades of Black and Wet. You girls need help learn how to swim? Yeah, black and wet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> are you swimming with the sharks, Wyatt? Wyatt, what are you doing, Wyatt? Um, sharks or mountain lions? This is right at Wyatt's alley. Either way, it's, it's any yeah. white, white dudes do. I'm not messing with the mountain lion. See, I told you. I knew Wyatt was going to go swimming. I'm not messing with the mountain lion. 
No, why he he get those special powers like Aquaman? He'd be he'd have like he'd be holding both fins. He'd be using. Them. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I have like a, a connection to the ocean, so I think the sharks would be cool. Right up to the moment they bite and eat you. <laughs> I feel like an. Oh God! You had a connection. <laughs> yeah, last words. I feel like no I have a leg to my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> then why it's like my hand and he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So next one. Last one. Would you rather your parents arrange your marriage or marry your most recent ex? Marry my most recent marry ex. Marry my most recent ex. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah. Your parents are, they're useless. They have no my idea what you My like. parents got divorced three different times. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They never know. No, but they never know what you like, though. They think they do. I, I got a woman for you. Daddy, I don't like that kind of shit. I like it's different shit. Eeyore yeah. or somebody. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Like, Daddy, I don't like women with Jerry curls, okay? Bitch with a humpback. <laughs> yeah, or some shit like that. Well, she can cook. I don't give a shit, Daddy. We can go out to eat, okay? All I want to know is, does she like motorcycles? You know, I mean, right. your parents, they don't know you like you know you. I mean, even your friends don't know you like you know you. They, you think they do, but they don't. Know, knowing my mom, because all my brothers have white girls, they, she would get me a black chick just to <laughs> I know my mom would. And I'd be like, come on, mama. You know, come on, mama. You seen the girls that came to the house, the, the three that came to the house, <laughs> the three that ever grazed your presence. <laughs> so you know what I like, mama. And she gonna, she'd probably think I changed. Well, you probably changed because, you know, I heard, I heard you do a lot of reading now. So, you know, so here you go. No, mama, no. I mean, I always say any woman that res- any resembles my mom in any way, it's over. It's done. Yeah, I would never date a woman that was like my mom. Skin when, color, uh, be damned. <laughs> once you question anything, I mean, once you have a question, like my mom would ask, I would, no, it's over. So where were you? Okay, it's done. I mean, yeah, I, yeah I, I, I'm like that. And, and at this stage of the game, you really think I'm going to change it? At this stage of the game, shh, it, it's done, bro. It's done. Yeah, your, your roots are planted. That tree is not moving. Uh, hey, 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 it's done, bro. It's, it's, I mean, like, you know, I always say it's a joke, but it's the truth. Me and my roommate are so much like being married. I mean, to the point, like, she yells at me all the time. I, 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 I do what she tells me. I, I go shopping and do what she tells me, whatever. And the only thing that's missing is, I mean, honestly, it's like, it's like, it's like being married. What I always say in a joke. I said, we argue. She's always right. And we never have sex. And that's what it's always like. It's always her way or the highway. She's right. What, what, what am I, what, what, what am I doing wrong? What I got to do to change it? And that's pretty much it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's what it's like. So I imagine. So I'm pretty much married. I did. I get it. Only thing missing is the sex part. All the part. cons, none of the benefits. Thank you, thank you. We, and we, we yeah. stay in separate rooms like, like we're married. <laughs> I don't know about you, but my parents stayed in separate rooms. My, my dad worked at night, so they had to stay in separate rooms because he, he worked at a post office. So it oh, was, dude, yeah. my my couch had a silhouette of my dad laying down <laughs> body. <laughs> it was formed through his body and shit. They, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga stayed on the couch. <laughs> wow, what happened? He, he was always fucking up. Uh, they just. They got divorced three times, so that should tell you. They got married. How often they were they sleeping got married. in the same room. They got married three times. Mm-hmm. Jesus, I mean, like, why? I mean, I'm just asking why. Dude, I have no idea. Man, why the fuck is this horn keep going off? I hate this hotel. Me, me, and my brother were. Oh well, no, I take it back. I was so happy that my parents got divorced. I, I was sick of watching furniture break. I was sick. I was sick of cops coming to the house. I was like, man, we just got that trinket. You know what I mean? I was like, I, <laughs> that I, trinket. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I just wanted them to be. I, I mean, I, I was. I was sick of it. I was sick of the cops coming to the house. Trinket is such an old word. <laughs> I know. That's why I said it. I was sick of. Okay, how about this? I was sick of the paneling being broke. I, I, whatever it was, Dan. I was done. I was done. And I was just sick of, the, like, you know, thinking there was going to be peace, and there never was. And when they got a divorce, that was the best they ever got along. It really was. I mean, it was the best. So, yeah, I was happy when they got divorced. So, yeah. Matter of fact, I forgot the original question. What was it? What was the question? What was the question? The original one was, would you rather your parents arrange your marriage or marry your oh, most recent ex? Yeah, marry my most recent ex. My most recent ex, yeah, we just talked. So, yeah. Yeah, matter of fact, yesterday. So, yeah. I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd give it a try with her. And if it didn't work, fuck it. Yeah, me and my, me and my most recent ex are cool. So Yeah, we're cool. So, yeah, give it a yeah. shot. And, and, you know, we're both older. So, who knows? Maybe it would work. And if it didn't, fuck it, man. I got a buddy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Seriously. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. I really don't. That'd be cool. What about you, Wyatt? My most recent ex right now is dating my sister. Really? Okay, we we going with a dude. Wait, what? Were you going with a dude? Was I going out with a dude? Yeah, he said she's he's de- uh, sorry. My, sorry, my bad. My sister's ex 
is dating my ex. I didn't mean to say it like that. Okay, I was gonna say like, whoa. That's why I was like, were you dating a dude, dude or you just is your, pulled your sister out of the closet? Like yeah, that. I was like, I didn't know y- y- y'all got down like yeah, that. Baby. But hey, babe, but it's it's okay though. Why it's okay? Okay, so oh oh, so you're so, do you feel betrayed? I don't care. Well, you ain't gonna say it like that. But the way was you, she gay with you? Or did she go gay after? No, she, no, 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 she, no, 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 no. She, she's going okay, out with so his, here, here's his sister's happened. ex, which is a dude. Yeah, so my sister. Oh, I thought your sister was gay, gay. So yeah, the way he said man. it the first time. He, he, he said it wrong the first time. We're all, he yeah, said we're it wrong the first time. He well, said it wrong. No, you said it to make her sound gay. That's why I, I did. Yeah, he I said, said it wrong. Yeah, right. I know you did. Well. Okay, so your sister's ex boyfriend is dating your ex girlfriend. Correct. Okay. Okay. So I'd have to allow my parents to. But my parents are, uh, from the last episode, are still bears. So I don't know if I can, I'd be dating a grizzly bear. What do you mean? If I got two bad options. What do you mean they're still bears? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? My parents are You know are he's strict old. Bears. He doesn't remember the last episode. I said, you're st- I, said, I, I don't, yeah. Jesus Christ. Please say it, please. I, I travel a lot, man. Come on. It was me. a would you rather from the last episode, bro. Well, I forget, come bro. I, I, come on, bro. I, I'm in the now. Yeah, you I need to be ra- going back and watching our content. So I was raised by two strict bears last oh, episode. That's right. I remember that. Okay, yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe they know best. So maybe they do know best. I mean, you're young, too, so who knows? But would you get back with your ex if you could? Me or Wyatt? No. Wyatt. Would you, Wyatt? No. no. Well, what, what was she controlling? Uh, remember when I was telling you that one time? Oh. I mean, there's a ton of reasons, but uh, the main thing um, was the religion. Like, yeah, the main thing was the, uh, was the religion. Thing. Yeah, fuck that. Like, shit. like I told you guys, she was Christian. Her family oh. was super Christian. Yeah, that's and it. Basically, like towards the end of our relationship, she literally drove me out to this house that was like an hour and a half away to have a talk with an her, intervention with her, basically with her aunt and uncle who were like homeschooling their kids. They had like eight kids, just super religious. And I literally, we sat down on their kitchen table and literally had a talk. Out of the Jesus moment. Literally. I would have been so mad if that shit would have happened. Dude, honestly, I would have been pissy. If you drove me an hour and a half. did you drive? I honestly don't remember. (laughs) But either way, if you you would have done it to me, First of all, once they, once they start talking that, it's like, oh, okay. I mean, that's, that was one yeah, thing. I'd, I'd have told her parents. Some, I'd have told her aunt and uncle. Some, somebody's getting fucked in this house. I don't know who it is, <laughs> but somebody's getting fucked in this house. And we're going to get talk to me for this bullshit. All right, get the butter out because somebody's taking this shit. <laughs> 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 somebody's taking this corn cob. But yeah, there, there, there's no way in the world. I'm I'm dealing with that shit. I mean, I mean, I, I, to be honest, I think it's one of the big reasons of, for a breakup or it is, is religion. I really do, especially if you're going out with somebody who's. I mean, they base everything off of that. It's like, oh, you you're not even reasonable. Here's what I'm, I'm not ever gonna do. I'm never waking up early on a Sunday ever again to go to church. So if that's what you own, don't be with me. Cause yeah. I'm not going. Yeah, I'm never going. I mean, even if we have kids, I mean, I, hey, if you want to uh, put that nonsense in their head or whatever, hey, good for you. But um, and what'd your mama say about Jesus today? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Well, mommy said you're going to hell. Yep, probably am. So yeah. anyway, so you want to go with daddy and go sinning? <laughs> it's a lot more fun. It really is. Hey, hey, there's not going to be any judgment. It's going to be great. Have you ever drunk before? I'm four, daddy. I don't give a fuck. Have you ever drunk before? Look, you got a baby seat. You're going to stay in it. You're going to go to sleep. Your teeth coming in. Let's put some whiskey on your gums. (laughs) It's going to be fun, son. You shirk responsibility. Look at me. I don't think I'm your real dad. It's going to be a great time. I mean, mean, seriously. Uh, Yeah, I I can't do it, man. I I really can't. I mean, you know, actually, that'd be a deal breaker. That'd be a deal yeah, breaker. I'm out on religion. You know what's funny? I, I, remember, oh. I remember this girl who we kind of liked each other, or whatever. But she was like real religious. She was trying to say she was saving herself a marriage. And this was during my fuck years when I lived on the road out of my car, and I mean I was laying pipe. And uh, and she basically said, "Yeah, I'm saving for marriage." And I was like, "All right, whatever." So like years later, she kind of hit me up like, "Hey, you know, God, I was so stupid back then." And I go, "Yeah." Oh, well, <laughs> you know, I, I kind of ghosted her, but not really, but kind of, you know what I mean? I was like, hey, hey. Did she hit you up on some, wanting some dick or? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, she did. And, and, you, like, were, and you weren't attracted to her anymore? 
I, I, I was barely back in the day, but I mean, I mean, I was barely, I was barely back then, but I, I was, you know, I, you know, when you're hitting everything. You're like, yeah, fuck it, let's do it. So I was like, yeah, hey. I figured I could ghost her. Cause that, that was before social media. That was before a cell phone. That was when you had an answer machine. So I was like, oh my God. Yeah. I, I was ghosted bitches on a regular. You know? They called me black Casper. So I was like, yeah, I could do that. So, um, but when she said that, I was like, oh, okay. So I kind of, you know, quit, you know, there was no social media. So then when social media kind of kind of came around, she hit me up in a DM and was like, oh my gosh, I wish we could have back in the day. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, yeah. Anyway, it was so <laughs> nice talking to you. I hope everything works out in your life. And if I'm back in town, maybe you can go to my show again. <laughs> and that was it. I mean, maybe not, you know me, not as bad, but basically kind of like that, yeah. Really, like, you, like, I, I've, I've been there when a girl from a long ago who didn't want me back then? She didn't want me now. I'm hot day all <laughs> yeah. mm. I ain't got nothing for you. You should have got me when I was a lame. Isn't that, isn't that the greatest in a way oh, when, when it, it when it oh, comes yeah. back? I mean, like like mm-hmm. you said, okay, the girl that was married got divorced. When they get divorced, they kind of get their and, and if they're kind of young and still in the game, and they come back, you know, oh my God, I used to like you so much. But my parents, yeah. Anyway, about that. yeah, oh, yeah, about that. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, hey, I gotta call you back. I gotta uh, water my plants. Uh, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I get back with you? Yeah, I gotta wash my hair. So <laughs> <I gotta> go. <laughs> Remember that, bitch? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I gotta shine my shoes. Uh, they're tennis shoes. I, still, I gotta shine them. Anyway, <laughs> all right. This is- got a big tap dance recital coming up. <laughs> it's, it's a Chuck Taylor musical. <laughs> Hey, listen, man, we got to go, bro. We got to go because we're, we're on a time crunch. So. This was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Sorry We Cancel. Make sure you're hitting that like, subscribe, and share button. Share, 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 guys. Remember what I said. Share the podcast. Hit that share button. And I love comments. Appreciate thank, it. Thank you, everybody, on the comments. And thank you, everybody, for the birthday wishes. Appreciate it. Thanks for putting it out there. I mean that from my Absolutely. heart. Absolutely. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to be back next week with, oh, no, next week I'm going out of the country, brother. I'm going to be, I'll, I should be in uh, Amsterdam uh, this time, uh, on my way to Amsterdam this time next week. We're still going to have a show. We'll, we'll figure it out. Re- we'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. We'll figure it out. Okay, we'll figure it out. Okay. All right. Well, as we say this time, I'm Deion Curry. I'm BT. You know what we say? Yeah, bro.